Well, the NASA astronauts who took the first crewed Boeing Starliner flight to space are still living and working at the International Space Station three weeks after they were supposed to be back on Earth. Yeah, they got no choice, right? I mean, issues with the Starliner have delayed their return home. The astronauts took off June 5th. They were supposed to spend just a week at the ISS. Astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams addressed their lives in space and the troubleshooting still happening on the Starliner earlier today. CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood joins us now from the Kennedy Space Center. And Bill, you actually talked to Butch and Sonny. You asked them about how confident they feel about returning safely. Let's listen to Butch's response. We're absolutely confident. We've already, as Sonny mentioned, for safe haven, we had that uh, uh, test, not just the, the, the test, but also to, to do it for real when we had that possible conjunction a few weeks ago. And we got in Starliner, we were ready to go. Everything's in place as far as what we know now. That's a, that is a good point. We are actually doing thruster testing as we speak at White Sands, New Mexico, going through that process, uh, trying to replicate what we saw on that flight day two when we were rendezvousing. And we are, we're going to learn from that. And we're going to incorporate new processes, new procedures that we will uh, employ if necessary. So there's always uncertainty when it comes to space travel. But still, uh, given how the Starliner had so many issues leading up to this launch, what does all this say to you? Uh, you know, I think I, I go along with what Butch Wilmore said. You know, they are test pilots. This is a test flight. As you said, this is the first time people have flown aboard the Starliner. And so you expect to run into some problems. Now, I think they've had more than they anticipated, uh, but they're more than capable of dealing with this. You know, both of these crew members are veteran Navy test pilots. They have tons of experience. And they both said they were very confident that the spacecraft will safely bring them home. Uh, the test he was referring to on, in White Sands, New Mexico, they're firing a thruster, just like some of those that failed on the Starliner earlier, to make sure they understand exactly what might have caused that. And if they have to, they'll change the procedures the crew will use when they undock from the station and come home. But right now, uh, they're both confident that they've got a safe vehicle, and I think we have to take them at their word for that. We'll have to wait and see how the testing comes out. And despite Sunny looking like she's, you know, freaking out, her hair is standing on end because it's zero <laughs> gravity. She's totally cool and calm. But what then are they learning during their extended time on ISS, since that is the entire point? Yeah, you know, Bush referred to safe haven in his initial remarks. Uh, what that is, is, you know, if they ever got threatened by some orbital debris or had some kind of catastrophic failure on the space station, the station crew is supposed to go to their spacecraft. They can close the hatch and be ready to go on a moment's notice if something really bad happened. Uh, that's what he was referring to. They've tested that. They know that their spacecraft is good for that if they had to leave in a hurry. Uh, and they've also been helping out the station crew. They've been doing research uh, with the station crew, performing regular maintenance. You know, so then he talked about replacing a, a pump in a urine processor that's on board. Uh, we won't talk about their water recycling system, I suppose, but uh, it's pretty complicated, and they've helped out with that. Uh, so they've, had, they've, they've been busy. They even had a chance to get uh, some window time and, and marvel at Hurricane Barrel, you know, as it barreled in toward Houston, where the Johnson Space Center and where their homes are. Fascinating. I guess that's the example when you make the most of whatever situation you're in. Astronauts know how to do that. Bill Harwood, thanks so much.